Hey guys, the Madman Army here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to link your nether portals. One thing I'll tell you before I start is that one block in the nether is equal to eight blocks in the overworld. So say say you step one block in the nether, that's all of these blocks in this world. Okay, now we got that out of the way, I'll show you how to do it. Say you're at spawn and later on you want to make an iron farm. So you want to find your spawn chunks. Once you've found a good spot to find your nether portal, once you've found a good spot to put it in the overworld, before you light up the nether portal, you want to pull up your coordinates. And just in case you're doing this on PS4 and Xbox, you can find your coordinates on a map. Yeah, so now you just want to do a really simple bit of maths. So remember this coordinate and grab a calculator. Then you want to write down whatever coordinate you had and then just divide it by 8. And then you want to grab either sticky notes or on computer, or you can just grab a notebook in, in real life. And then you just want to write that first number down. We'll round it off to the nearest number, so if the point is 5 or over, you do the number above. And then you want to find your z-coordinates. Your y-coordinates don't matter right now. So my z-coordinates were minus 52, so I write that down and I just divide it by 8. It doesn't matter whether it's minus or not. And then you just write that down. Okay, now that you've gotten this written down, you just want to go back into Minecraft and link up the portal. And now you can go in. So the reason we wrote down the coordinates is because when you first enter the nether, the nether portal doesn't like to link up to the exact block it's supposed to. So we're just doing it ourselves. So we want to find those numbers that we wrote down. I had my X at 6 and my Z at minus 7. So I want to go to them coordinates in the nether. So my X, 6 and my Z minus seven. Okay, now we just want to place obsidian on, the, on that block. And now we can just break this portal and link it up. You can break this portal all together. The reasoning we do this is because in other nether portal tutorials, they don't really do this and you can't link nether portals unless you're like 200 blocks away from each other. But in this, you can put nether portals right next to each other. Okay, so now if you want, we're only breaking this because it's temporary. You should already have the coordinates written down where you wrote these. You just want to write down the Y coordinate now. So my Y is 68. So I just go into the middle here, 68. You know what, just to clean it up, I'm going to put X, Y, Z. And actually label it. So I'm going to la label it main portal. Okay, now you can go back into Minecraft. You don't actually have to break the portal, I was just stupid. Okay, so you're back... So you're back into the overworld, the portal should be linked up. You don't really have to test it, but if you want to, you can. But it's only one portal. So I'm just going to link this place to somewhere of importance. Say you want to link it to your end portal. I'm just going to go find the end portal right now. So you found your end portal and you want to link it up to your main portal now. What people like to do is they like to fill up this back wall and make a 3 by 3 portal. So now you just want to repeat the steps that I showed you at the time on the screen. Alright, so once you've linked the portal up to the exact coordinates in the nether, you want to go through in the overworld. And now, you want to break the portal that you linked up to the exact coordinates, stand on the exact coordinates, and go to the Y level that your other portal was at. That's why we wrote down the Y level before for your main portal. So mine's at Y68, so we go up to that. Here we are, Y68. Now you just place your portal down. Your nether portal could be at any Y level. Y level doesn't matter. It won't change where your portal is in the overworld. You see, I moved my portal up to 68. That was like 20 blocks. I still go through to the one I linked in the overworld. So now what you want to do is you want to pull up the coordinates to your main portal again. So 6, and don't worry about the Y coordinates again. 6 and minus 7. So I'll put this on my other monitor so I can see it. And now you just want to build a tunnel over to it. The easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is you find what way your portal is facing and then you just walk back and forth and see what number is moving. For me, it's my Z, so I want to link my Z coordinates up first. So you just build a long straight tunnel until you hit minus 7. And be careful, you might hit lava. Alright, so I have, I've hit minus 7, now I want to find what way I want to go with my X. So I want to go to plus 6, so I'll be going this way. Now remember, your coordinates will be different, so you don't want to link up to the coordinates that I'm saying. Link up to the coordinates that you wrote down. And there we are, my, my portals are linked. If you want, you can build a straight pathway or go on all the way over. So you don't have to go up no stairs. That's for fit people.
And there we go. If you just follow that pathway you just made, you should link up your portals. So, here's my portal to my spawn. Yep, if you remember the start of the video, I placed in a uh, stone. So now you just want to go through and say, Oh, I built an Enderman farm and I need XP. Just go through and follow, and follow that big pathway. And here we are, we go through. Boom. Linked up. If I helped you in any way at all, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want any more tutorial videos, comment down below. Later.